Hi, my name is Nasa O'Connor and I'm the International Manager here for the College of Science, Engineering and Food Science in the University College Cork. And today I want to talk to you all about opportunities in the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries in Ireland and open up some ideas about some interesting masters you can do to begin your career in this area. So first of all, just to give you an idea what I'm just gonna look over today, I'm gonna to discuss what sets Ireland apart, what is the difference between these different industries, why do they matter, what companies and jobs we have available to you, but also who is the industry looking for, what type of person and graduate, and what masters are there, but also how can you be a part of this revolution and begin your career? So first of all, what sets Ireland apart? 15 of the top 20 medical device companies are based here in Ireland. We are the number one European location for international pharmaceutical investment. And part of that reason is some of the amazing graduates that we have in this country available to these multinational companies. Over 300 biopharma companies across Ireland, including the 30 FDA approved pharma and biopharma plants. Six out of the 10 of the world's top selling drugs are actually manufactured and produced here in Ireland. So what is the difference? I get asked this a lot by students and also by parents between that pharmaceutical biotechnology industries and the medical device. So a pharmaceutical industry, they create medicines, these companies from chemicals and it's from synthetic processes. So you're always thinking about drugs. So the biotechnology companies derive their products from the extraction or manipulation of living organisms. So when you're thinking about this, this is all about proteins and antibodies, vaccine development, for example, for COVID-19, but also those, you know, I suppose, living organisms or antibodies that we used in cancer or autoimmune treatments. Medical devices then, a medical device is any device that is intended to be used for med medical purposes. So this goes from everything to a contact lens that you're gonna use for your sight, but also you know, any of your family members who might've had hip or knee implants or stents in their heart. And also a lot of the diabetes care ranges that are available, these products for testing your blood sugars. This is a medical device, okay? So that's really what the difference is between these industries, because often, you know, people talk about them all together. Why do these industries matter? Um, I suppose these industries really matter because of the fact of that these industries are automatically linked to healthcare solutions. How we look after our elderly, if your granny has a broken hip, to make sure that that hip implant is designed to suit her the best. Also, I suppose different vaccines, cancer treatments, they are coming up with solutions that the world is facing from all types of healthcare issues. So that's really why it's so important. And never has this been more obvious than in the last two years, three years, where I suppose the world has faced such a challenge with COVID-19. And straight away, these industries, these disciplines, we're involved in testing antibody research. How are we going to get rapid testing kits available, vaccine development, healthcare and treatment provision. And what it's doing is these companies are enabling and trying and working so hard that we can, you know, resume normal community globality, mobility, economic recovery, and kind of sustainable global recovery because of the solutions that are being put in place from these industries and researchers. So another question is always about the companies that are here. So the companies are just huge amount, as I mentioned, over 300 companies, but these are some of the big names. You can see Pfizer in the news with the vaccine. Eli Lilly is a wonderful partner of our university here in UCC, involved in many different aspects of our College of Science, Engineering and Food Science. Janssen, part of Johnson & Johnson, hugely supportive to our graduates and uh, Novartis, GSK, Boston Scientific, Amgen as well, based up in Dublin, but multiple sites across Ireland as well. So huge amount of companies. And what's really interesting as well is it's not just based in one area. These companies are based, located right across Ireland. So if you come to UCC and do a master's, there obviously is a huge amount of life sciences companies based in Cork. We're known as the life sciences hub, 
we are all to have an opportunity where you can live and work in a company in a different part of Ireland as well. It's not just one location. Another question, I suppose, is the range of jobs. And it's opening up the awareness to people I suppose, outside of Ireland, but even within Ireland, how much opportunities they have in this area for engineering. You know, these companies are crying out for automation engineers, process engineers, chemical engineers, mechanical, project engineers, design engineers. So it's right across the board, the opportunities here in engineering. From a technical and scientific point of view, there's a huge amount of opportunities in quality assurance, quality control. They're looking for people who are regulatory affairs specialists, which is people who specialize in the documentation to ensure that the drugs or medical devices are within the regulatory standards of the FDA. So you can see it's so much different jobs are in this industry, but they need people coming from that scientific and technical background. There's new product development or new product introduction scientists working in this area. And like a whole new area that has exploded in the last 10 years is the biostatistician or the SAS programmer, where you're looking with large data sets of biological data. So for example, in COVID-19, looking at all this data that was coming in and tracking, I suppose, the trends of the virus, what was happening. So it's a huge, that's just one example. But there's so much examples of this field and it's becoming very important as we know data is, is I suppose, never has been more important in the last couple of years. A material scientist. So, for example, in working, you know, coming from maybe a physics or chemistry background or even engineering background and looking at the different materials that we're using to create healthcare solutions. OK, so that's right across the board again. Also, it's not my area, but I do want to say, because there is a huge amount of these companies like Janssen and Lilly that have their shared service centers based in Ireland. So it's not just prolifically the science or engineering background we're looking for. They're also looking for people from the commercial setting, from finance and pricing and HR, and obviously kind of the project management side and marketing side. So again, it's about that whole area that is exploding at the moment, the life science and medical devices sector. They really need kind of people right across the board. I think this map that I'm showing you now is really, I suppose it's really important to get the point across of the scale of jobs that is in our small Ireland island. And you can see here, like in the Cork area where University College Cork is based, you can see over 12,000 positions there. There's a huge life sciences hub, but again, up in Galway and up in Dublin as well, right across the board, even Sligo, you're seeing there up north, huge amount of opportunities there as well, okay? And who, you know, who are these industries looking for the pharma, the bio or the medical devices? And they're looking for you, essentially. They're looking for a graduate who wants to, I suppose, get involved in these industries. And they're looking, as I've shown you from the jobs, there's so much different opportunities available. So really, it's just about kind of getting aware of what your options are and really understanding what do you really like? Where would you like to end up? What job that I listed off there sounds really exciting because there's so much opportunities in this field and to make a difference. So the masters that are there just from a purely science and engineering and food science perspective is there's two amazing engineering. We have four amazing engineering masters, but two of them will be quite focused in this area. We also have six across the life sciences. Uh, so everything from the three chemistry masters, but also cell biology, biochemistry, uh, computational biology, which would be that mix of data science and, and the kind of traditional sciences route, and also biotechnology. We also have a mathematical masters in mathematical modeling and machine learning. But again, they're looking like people from the industry are looking for these graduates because they have some of the skills that are needed. And the same goes from the computer science background. You know, they're looking for these people because we they do need data scientists. They do need computer scientists to work in their shared services centers as well, okay? So just to touch briefly on the different masters that we have, particularly in the life sciences background, okay? So obviously we have masters in biotechnology, six month research project can be done with industry as well. 
We also have a master's in molecular cell biology with bioinnovation, an amazing program, which is a mix of predominantly biological and lab based modules preparing you to kind of be a very strong researcher, but also some business modules where you get to do entrepreneurship. And we've had amazing stories internationally where people have said amazing life sciences startups from coming from this master's. Again, a six month research project with the opportunity to do an industry placement. Uh, we also have the bioinformatics and computational biology. I really urge students of different backgrounds to look into this. We take students from mathematics, statistics, computer science, data science, but also the traditional biological and chemistry routes because there's so many people that can really kind of step ahead with this. Okay, so it's really great because I suppose you're going to be in a class with people with very broad and different backgrounds. Also, there's the MRES of biochemistry and cell biology. That's for you if you're the student that's sitting there and really wants to kind of get that chance to see if they want to do a PhD or if they're interested, but maybe don't want to commit straight away because you get to do a nine month in you get to do a nine month independent research project. OK, so it's really, really attractive, I think, for a lot of you students who are like, I'm interested in research, but is that the track I want to continue in? Because also, even if you decide that maybe I don't want to pursue that career, you're also still extremely attractive to employment opportunities because essentially you've nine months of hands on practical experience completed in your degree. OK. So also then the other side of it, we also have kind of more chemistry focused, um, which we've three different options, analysis of pharmaceutical compounds, anal analytical chemistry, uh, environmental analytical chemistry. And also these have a six month research project, but a lot of these are drawn directly with industry where you're interviewing with industry partners from as early as October, only starting in your, in your master's in September. So again, an amazing opportunity here. And the two engineering masters, I just wanted to flag them. So that's the pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical engineering masters, a one year master. So you're doing everything, I suppose, from process validation and quality engineering to process design, aseptic manufacturing design, but also working with kind of powder and liquid facilities. So you're really making sure that you are incredibly attractive to the pharma and biotech industry. But also another option is the mechanical engineering masters. Again, this is very cross-disciplinary. It's attractive to the life sciences, the pharma, the biotech industries, because you're working across different uh, manufacturing process and automation modules. And to be honest, process and automation engineers, they are so hard to get from a recruitment point of view. So there's a huge kind of market for that area as well, okay? Um, so both these masters, incredibly good options if you're an engineer and really want to progress into the industry that's really booming here in Ireland. So to finish up, um, I'm really grateful that you listened to me today and take the time to maybe make yourself more aware of the amount of industry here in Ireland. Uh, how can you get a part of this revolution and also be a part of a community where you're really making a difference? So first of all, check out our programs on offer. The link is here get in touch, uh, we can give you guidance, we can give you maybe guidance into a program you mightn't fully have considered before, that could be really good for you. And you can then start your journey in a really fulfilling career in pharma or biotech or medical devices. And what's amazing about this next step for you is that your future is going to be focused on solving real world problems that our society is facing. So you can see today some of the examples you know, from COVID-19 to vaccine development right across the board, you can be part of solutions that, you know, your family has faced and your friends have faced and your community where you are from have faced. So look, thank you very much for listening. Um, please, you know, don't hesitate to get in touch with any questions that you have. We are so happy to help you and give you further guidance.